subscribe. Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Little Great Garage. Today's episode, we're going to be seeing if I can get this old Cub Cadet riding lawnmower running and mowing again. Oh, uh, as you can see, it's raining out here right now, so we're going to get a chain hooked up to this thing, drag it down to the barn, and then get to work. Well, we made it back to the barn here. It's still raining a little bit, but it started to absolutely downpour on our way here. Uh, we hooked up a strap, pulled it out of there, and then I rode it down the road behind it, <clears throat> uh, the side-by-side, -side, and then we got it in the barn here. This thing is in bad condition. Uh, let me bring you guys closer. We'll take a look at this thing, and then we got to get to work because we got cut wires, no ignition key, all the tires are blown open, and this thing does not, I don't know when it was last ran. It's definitely been sitting over five years to what we know right now, and I'm assuming seven years it's been sitting, but let's just dig right into this thing. So here it is, the Cub Cadet riding lawnmower. Um, very rough condition, whole bunch of rust here. Seats all torn apart over there. Everything is just like literally shattering off. Um, here's an example of the tires. Completely split open. It's in like a weird egg shape. This tire is completely ruined. Um, here's our gas cap. We'll open that soon. Little pin hitch. We actually got a trailer for this. That'll be cool. Transmission release lever. So it's probably like kind of like a neutral thing. So like release is neutral, engage is go mode. Um, this tire is also insanely damaged. Covered in leaves and sticks. Cause this thing sat right beside the barn out there. This tire is just completely blown, ruined. Um, seat, uh, very moist, we'll say. And then open this up. Not a, I love the way these old riding mowers have the back look, or especially these Cub Cadets. I just love the way they look. I cannot get that thing open. Uh, we're going to rip this out because I bet this is a weight thing. So it senses if you're heavy enough to ride this. We're ripping that out because, you know, I'm insanely light, skinny. Uh, rotting through. There's holes on both sides. Um, what is this? Deck height, I believe. Throttle. Very stiff. No idea what this is. Probably headlights, but you know, that probably won't do anything. Wonder why. There's our blade engagement. That probably doesn't work. Also a surprise. Um, looks like the seat adjusts. Seat adjuster. Yeah, that's good because again, I'm short and light. What is this? What what do you do? Do something. I hear it doing stuff everywhere, so it might be like e brake. No. Uh I don't know. Um so let's pop this hood and then let's see what's under there. Alright, so I have something very exciting to announce about this motor. We are starting a new series on this YouTube channel. We're going to be completely converting this into a racing mower. I mean, exhaust, engine performance parts, steering wheel, seat, tires, taking off the deck, lowering it. It's going to be a whole series on this channel. So please subscribe and uh, stick around to watch that series. And uh, it's going to be kind of like that go-kart. We haven't forgot about that go-kart, guys. But we are starting a series just like that one, making multiple videos until it is finished. Um, but let's just get this hood popped open. I have no idea what's under here. That's hitting every single one of the wires down there. That's fine. Oh, gosh. I do not want to touch any of that. What do you even... That's like a... Seat cover, maybe? This isn't in too bad condition. What do we got here? Kohler OHV 15 horsepower. Hub cadet motor. Does not look bad. I um, wonder where this exhaust goes to. I got no idea. There's a weird pulley thing there. It goes somewhere is all I know. Um, we're going to probably pop this cover off. We're going to clean out the carb most likely. Spark plug, all that. Here's all of our... Jeez, this needs to be beat with a hammer 37 times. Like pins so you can take off this whole shell. 
Um, here's a battery, completely full of water. Um, we'll get a new one of those. Oh gosh, there's like acid all over that too. Oh gosh. All of our digicals are missing one there. This is ripped up. This is not looking good at all. Um, does it even have a key? No, it does not have a key. Forgot about that. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to start on this thing, honestly. This is, uh, a lot to do here. We're definitely going to be rewiring some stuff here. We got random wires hanging everywhere. Like, what does this even do? Is this for this fuse or something? I don't even know. I think this connects to that, and that does something to this, and then this does stuff to this. Um, how many hours do we have? 385. You know, that is not that bad. I mean, I think mainly this is just from sitting. So 385 is not that bad at all. We did have some damage from towing it over here. I don't even, oh. This isn't even like hardly attached, I don't think. Just beat that in with a hammer later. Um, yeah, so let's check this oil really quick. See if it's even got any of that. Oh yeah. That actually looks pretty good. Not too bad. Why won't you go in? There we go. Alright, well I say find the key for this thing. Hook up a jump box to see if it turns over. We'll probably clean that up first and then we'll start doing all the cleaning and all that and see if we can get this thing to fire up. I found the key. It ain't the factory key, but it is a key. If I stick this in here, everything off, lights, ignition, room, 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 oh, it's, room, it turn, it's turning, but battery's, dead. or something's not working in there, um, so I don't know what to do, let's get all this cleaned up, I guess, I'm very scared, there are so many centipedes all over this, Oh my gosh. Yep, we're done. You're done. That is disgusting. So there's like a centipede infestation. And now that's going to be all over this area. Great. Oh gosh. You can... Oh, they just went into the walls. Dude, what are those? Stop. Shut down. That's awesome. I'm gonna be terrified the whole time in here now. I'm like scared to This is still got liquid in it. Is this soda? That is actually soda, I believe. So it's still fizzing, but I don't I'm, I'm not thirsty, so throw that to throw that aside. More missing wires. Probably went to the headlights, I'm assuming. Here's a whole bunch of more garbage. More garbage. This looks very important. Ba oh, this might be a battery thing. We're going to keep that aside. Oh, great, that's a mess. What is this? What do we got here? Random piece of plastic. Um, uh, I need to get all this cleaned out, but I don't want to touch this. Oh, there's our oil filter. I've never changed the oil filter, so we're just gonna call that good. Um, see, I wonder how we even get this battery out. Because this is on the way, you know? Um, so let's, I'm gonna go grab a jump box. We're gonna see if this thing will even turn over. One more thing before we get the jump box really quick here. We're gonna take off this cover, and I am very nervous to see what is under here. Like, very nervous. So this is just the first episode of the series, just getting it running. You know, we'll do some mowing if the tires want to hold air. Oh gosh. Can you just... Well, we had some meese. That's what I think happened here. It's still clean. Very clean, but very ripped up. Here is a moss nest. That's nice. Can you come out? This work. Just get on out. Oh, something just broke. There we go. That was easy. Um, 
We're going to get some pliers to take that off. Did I actually just drop the cap? That's gone forever. I'm going to grab some pliers and we'll take this off. All right, let's pull this thing off. I just got it loose with some pliers. We're going to be here for nine years. There we go. I'm just going to start laying all of our parts up on the seat here. You know what's a good sign when you, it's stuck into it? You know, this is actually not that bad. I have 1000% seen worse. We're just going to go ahead and reuse that. That's brand new. Oh, sucked in a whole bunch of foam most likely. That's a whole bunch of stuff down in there. I don't know where that goes. It goes somewhere. Um, looks like the carburetor is back there. The inside of that actually looks pretty clean, but we're probably still going to take this off and clean out that carburetor. I'm going to actually go grab a jump box now. We'll see if this thing will turn over. Alright, just got a jump box hooked up here. We're either going to have ignition or we're going to have to do some wiring. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That is just great. Do I have to have like a brake on or... I'm going to mess around with this for a little bit. Because, you know. There's got to be something that does something that I got to have on to get this to turn over. So I'm going to mess around with this a little bit and then I'll come back and hopefully I figured something out. Well, I still can't figure anything out. So we're going to unplug these because that could be messing it up. Um, also, I found out this is the choke. So when I pull this lever, see that little tab moving there? So that's the choke. Um, nothing really happens when I turn the key. Nothing turns on. So I'm assuming it's battery issues. Still nothing. So, I mean, I don't know. Um, could be the jump box is dead. Gauge doesn't work, but, you know, I really have no idea. So, uh, maybe we should hook up the other wire. Find this connecty thing to plug into that and then see what happens. Alright, so we all right, so we have a light here. This is some sort of fuse. This is some sort of fuse, but look at this fuse is disconnected. So maybe we should wire those two back up. But then we're also missing this connector. So where could that connector be? It's a sneaky connector. All of this barely connected up there. Um, I mean, there is just a lot of junk in here. And I don't even know what's happening. Here's another box that is full of water. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to wire up these two wires, I guess. And then we'll give it the juice. And I swear there's like a frog. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like a frog in the engine. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's literally a frog somewhere in here. Or some sort of creature. I got that thing wired up really quick. Um, no idea if it's going to do anything. But I'm going to hook up the jump pack and then we'll give it a whirl. Alright. Oh, we have a light. It does not. Oh, you guys hear that? It's doing the stuff. Oh gosh, that is safe. I don't know what just happened. I'm a little concerned though because the engine just clicked. So I am hoping that this thing is not locked up. And if it is, then we're going to have to get out the hammers or something. Um, we're going to take out the spark plug and then shoot some WD-40 in there and hope that this thing turns over. Alright, let's pop this spark plug out. 
Ow, I just smashed my knuckle off this edge. It's definitely running a little rich. But I mean, that does not look bad. We're gonna give this thing some juice. Cause I'm pretty sure it's locked up. It's a good amount of juice. Locked up, which is great. Um, I don't really know what to do. I guess we'll just get a wrench on that. Try to hammer it. See if it'll free up. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure the engine's locked up. I even tried sitting on the seat. It's nothing to do with weight. I'll mess around with all the electrical, like turning on all the stuff and stuff, see if it'll turn over. But pretty sure we got a locked up engine. Well, guys, I just realized something. I'm sitting here trying to turn it over, and I'm like, what even does this light mean? If you push this down. That's the low oil light. So I'm pretty sure they starved this thing of oil, locked it up, threw it into the trees. Which is great, you know. Um, so, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm going to take this off, and then we'll get a wrench on that. See if we can turn it free. Just got it all unbolted. Take this thing out now. It's going to be kind of hard. Hmm. Here, I know what we'll do. See if we can get stuff. One side's on. Let me unbolt this side, too. Well, we got it off. And I'll tell you one thing, this ain't going on for a long time. Because, one, we had a lot of work to do in here. And, two, I snapped off, I think, five bolts taking it off. So, you know. I'm trying to get this link out, but... It won't come out. Just gotta squeeze that. Push it in. Come on. Come on. There we go. That bracket's off. That bracket's out. That bracket's in. Oops, and then the other one's already on here. I'm gonna pull this aside there, and then we'll get to uh, wrenching on this engine. Alright, let's start wrenching on this. Oh, that is on me. Hold on, let me grab a hammer. Um, here we go. Let's see if we can knock it loose. Hit this as hard as I can. Oh, I missed. Oh, gosh. That did not seem like it did anything. Oh, wait. Okay. Some movement. We're gonna move it back this way. It doesn't sound that good at all. It sounds like gritty. Ugh. Oh, I think it just freed up. Yes! Look at that. It's free. Yes, that's a really good sign. So now that I'm thinking, maybe it wasn't locked up because of low oil. Um, because we checked the oil and it seemed fine. Maybe it just was a little tight from, uh, sitting. Let's see if this thing will want to turn over now. Let me grab my key right here. We don't have any- Oh, I gotta hook up the jump box. Alright, let's see if we have ignition. No. See, it's weird. Let me jiggle stuff around and see if we get a light. Got a new jump box because the other one wasn't jumping. Let's see. I have not tried to turn this over yet. We got light? Nothing. Oh! Yeah! That is awesome. It actually turns over. Um, I'm going to check this oil level again. I didn't really read on it last time. Okay, it is a little low. So I'll run to the shop, I'll grab some more oil, and we'll put like half a quart in it. Well, you know what I was thinking? If we're turning this into a racing mower, let's just go ahead and throw racing oil into it already. So I'm gonna take off this cap, dump some of this in there, keep checking the level until it's good, 
and then we're gonna check if we got any spark. While we're waiting for that oil to seep down in there, we're gonna throw one of my own little grit garage stickers. You guys can get yourself one of these, lustergarage.com. I think I'm gonna slap it on right there. Look at that, perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead, put this back on in. I've let it sit for a second. And then we're gonna pull it back out. Um, I think it's good. Well, let's hook up the jump box again and then see if the low oil light is on. Well, found out what that buzzing was. Wasp flew out of the carburetor. That's normal. All right, let's see if we got an oil, low oil light. Still do, but I put oil in it, so, you know. Make sure it still cranks. Um, so now, let's uh, put that spark plug up to this and see if we got any spark. Just gonna clean it up a little bit first. Um, just gonna kinda make it look good, and then I'll actually clean the parts that matter. Alrighty, so. I'm going to pop this in right here. I'm going to use this to pop it in. Just like that. And then I'm going to hold this just like that. And then turn it over without any sparkles. And it's a good sign. Ready? Yes, we have spark. Pretty good spark, too. Alright, we're going to throw this spark cleaner back on. Um. Now, I did look into the cylinder. Oh, uh, I have my little light. Um, I don't know where it went, but I used it. And it, it's gonna be smoky for fire up. Uh, pretty much, well, I knew I put a lot of WD-40 down it, which, you know, that's fine because we had to free it up. Look how wet the spark plug is just from sitting in there for a second. Um, but there was like a piece of a stick in there and then there was like 20 bits of a leaf and an ant crawled out of it. So if it does run, it's going to be smoky and probably not that healthy for the first few revs. Um, but in the future, we are going to be putting performance stuff on this, um, like carburetor, air filter, exhaust, tires, all that stuff. But, you know, we just gotta get this thing running first because, you know, I can't do none of that don't run. This spark plug is just, the threads I think are going out on it. Well, I was looking at the carburetor and honestly, it looks pretty clean on the inside. I shined a light in there and I'm not gonna dig into it because uh, I have a record of taking things apart and then not knowing how to put them back together and there's already a lot of stuff taken off that I already don't know what to do with. So if we can't get it running, then we will of course take this carburetor off, deep clean it, clean the jets and all that. But if it fires up and we don't got to, why do it, you know? So now, uh, I think I have some foam and I think we're gonna make a custom little thing for around here. But first I gotta check if I even got any. Look at this, I got some foam for my toolkit. I'm gonna cut it up, lay it around here. It'll be perfect. We're gonna be a little short, but it's way better than nothing. Well, every time we go, uh, every time we need gas or run out, we have to take like 10 of these little jugs and fill them. So we got these. So now, just throw the nozzle up to this, let it rip, and then take it right over to the barn, and then we'll dump this in there. All right, we're just gonna fill this up. Well, I didn't get a lot, but I got enough. Hopefully hear this thing fire up. Though once we do get it started, we'll just drive over there and fill, fill it off. This thing's got a big tank. I believe this has a low fuel light too, but that obviously didn't work because this thing's empty. I'm gonna throw some bearing in down it. It cleans fuel system, gas tank, intake valves, fuel pump, and carburetor. That'll definitely help us with this. That's good enough. It's a very big tank, so, so I put that much. Alright, let's take this stuff off the seat. I'm really nervous that this thing's just gonna take off. So, um, if it does, it's gonna take out 
all my dirt bikes, but the transmission is in, uh, it's released, which means it should be in like a neutral state or something. I don't know how these numbers work. I don't even know how you drive. Like, I don't know what that is. Or... All I know is they do something. That's all I know. Oh, I'm going to these up. Just like that. We're just going to see if we have... Oh, yep, yeah, we got ignition. Uh, I'm not putting any spray down it yet. Um, see if it'll fire up. So that if it wants to take off, it can take off. If it wants to go that way, it can go that way. Uh, battery wasn't charging, so I'm gonna have to jump it again. But see if we can get this thing to move. like throttle at all great oh there goes that all right we're gonna give this another whirl see if it'll want to fire up
smells insanely hot and I can hear it sizzling. But that's fine. Oh, let's see if it even charged the battery. No, it didn't. So we're probably gonna need a new battery or a magneto or whatever. Well, we got it running. It was locked up engine. We were gonna take it to the dump anyways. But now it's a definitely a keeper. Got the engine unlocked, got it running and riding around. <clears throat> but stay tuned because in other episodes, we're going to be fully converting this into a racing mower. Doing an insane amount of upgrades on this thing. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Get some.